Sad news coming out of Abaco in this top story tonight. A three-car collision claiming the life of a mother and her four-year-old son. Our Aja Kwan sat with the officer in charge of the Northern Bahamas, ACP Shanta Knowles, who shares the detail of the circumstances surrounding this incident. Tragedy striking on the island of Abaco as a mother and her son have both lost their lives due to a horrific traffic accident. Assistant Commissioner of Police for the Northern Bahamas, ACP Shanton Olds, now giving us an update on this heartbreaking incident while also shedding light on the circumstances surrounding this deep loss. That is the viral video of the three-car collision on Abaco, resulting in the death of an adult female and a four-year-old male toddler. The incident reportedly occurring around 8 a.m. on Tuesday, February 20th, 2024, on Ernest Dean Highway in South Abaco. According to ACP Knowles, police from both March Harbor and Sandy Point proceeded to the location of the island's latest traffic fatality. Along with community partners, on their arrival, they discovered that an adult female and a child, age approximately four years, had succumbed to their injuries on scene. Preliminary reports indicate that the female driver and the male child, both occupants of a black Honda Fit, were traveling north on Ernestine Highway when she veered into oncoming vehicular traffic and collided with a male driver and a female passenger in a gray Dodge Caravan traveling south. The initial impact resulted in the Dodge Caravan colliding with a third vehicle driven by a female in a gray Nissan Cube that was also traveling south. The female driver and male toddler of the Honda Fit were seriously injured and succumbed to their injuries on the scene. As for the other drivers... They were transported to the clinics on Abaco where they are receiving medical attention. ACP Knowles emphasizes that officers from the Abaco Traffic Division maintain a continuous presence on the island streets, enforcing traffic regulations while also educating the public on road safety measures. While she could not confirm if speed is indeed a factor in this tragic accident, the island's top cop says... I do believe that a lot of what we are seeing um, shows us that speed is most of the time involved in these accidents or these collisions. Certainly we encourage those persons, all our drivers, our motorists, to pay attention to the speed limits no matter where you are. Now the police did not confirm the identity of both victims. However, they did say that this will remain under active investigations. For the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Adger Quant.